channel my name is peter shake sky favorite the smart mc the slim giant or you can call me washimpundu if you like if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button switch on the notification bell so that every time i post a new video you will be notified that washimpundu has posted a new video well justice minister on the newly Dan Abilten. He says Zambia isn't a theocracy. Church can't lead constitution making process. Luwinda, and that's the justice minister given Luwinda. He says the church cannot be at the helm of constitution making process because Zambia is not a theocracy. And Lubinda says Mazabuka UPND member of parliament Gary Nkompo's complaint that he is breaching uh, parliamentary privilege by debating Bill 10 on various media platforms is fumes flimsy. Meanwhile, Lubinda says government decided to gazette amendments to Bill 10 as a show of goodwill that it has no intentions of dribbling citizens as some stakeholders were insinuating. Speaking when he featured on Damon TV's live program Friday, Luwinda said it was not in order for the church to lead the constitution making process. There is nowhere in the world today where there is a theocracy. Zambia is not theocracy where the church must come up with laws. No, it is parliament that comes up with laws, not the church. It can't be done by the church and it also can't be led by the church. You want parliament to grow, uh, to be governed by the church. The, legisla uh, the legislative power of Zambia drives, uh, derives uh, from people and exercised by parliament. The church are participants, but they cannot be expected to legislate. No, it's not their role. The legislative function, according to the constitution, is exercised by parliament no one else except the executive lovinda said he wondered why the zambia council for catholic bishops zccb was crying foul when they did not make submissions both to the national dialogue forum and the parliamentary select committee despite being invited uh, um, uh, to this uh, constitution making process so is it our problem that ZCCB did not go to make their submission at NDF no it's not and it's not only ZCCB many are complaining about the process and saying no they are not listening to the committee of parliament they haven't heard our views but then you ask did you make your views known no did you make submission to the ministry of justice did you submit to ndf no did you submit to committee of parliament no but how did you expect us to delve into your thoughts to see this is what this gentleman or this lady is thinking about or this is what this organization is thinking about to build consensus. If you do not come to take part in preparing the dinner, don't condemn it. Don't condemn it. It's every cheeky to do that. Once I invite you, please, you invited me to come to this program, come and explain and I refuse. And then you misquote me. Will I have any reason to complain? No. You will say, but I gave you the platform, he said. Again, I want to ask you, is it um, consensus only when your view takes prominence? That's when it's consensus. When your view is not accepted, it's not consensus. Is that your interpretation of consensus? No, that's a very thin way of defining or defining consensus. People went to the NDF 
was ZCCB invited? Yes, they were. Did they come? No, they didn't. And where they stopped from going? No, they were not. And Luwinda said nothing stopped him from debating Bill 10. Mr. Gary Combo can knock all sorts of allegations, but this particular one is totally flimsy. There is nothing whatsoever that stops me or any other person or any member of parliament from debating a matter because it is in parliament. Nothing whatsoever. There is no law in this country that says because this bill is before parliament, don't debate it outside. Secondly, the issue of Mr. Garing Combo going to parliament on the 17th of March and raising a point of order and referring to a matter that was in court and asking Mr. Speaker whether not parliament should continue to debate Bill 10 is not an issue because Mr. Speaker reserved his ruling. He didn't make a ruling and because he did not make a ruling, I am not compelled to assume that Mr. Garingombo's point of order is valid. No, what is valid is the fact that parliament had already started debating Bill 10 and nobody pronounced the curtailment of the process, he said. Meanwhile, Lovinda said a government only had good intentions on Bill 10. Today again, I decided to do an unprecedented act. I did this because I don't want anyone to say I did not follow. I didn't know what was happening. Never in the history of Zambia has a minister of justice gazetted amendments. Never. Why am I doing it? It is because I don't want to leave anyone behind. Anybody saying they are going to manipulate. I want them pre presented to parliament. I said I am committed to these amendments. They say, no, you will manipulate today. I say, all right, I am going to show you not only the blood on my palm, I also show you the blood in my heart. I am going to gazette this thing so that you can hold me accountable. Again, they are saying, no, he is going to manipulate. So let me make this clear. Constitution making is not about um, anonymity. No, it is about consensus, not unison, said Lovinda. And I can say here, as an honest and sincere person, when I went through the Gazette, I noticed there were some errors, and I want to make it very clear here. There were some errors. If people see that there is a retention of uh, 14 days for the petition of the president, of the president, that's an error. What I meant to put in his 30 days, that's what the um, Nakatinda report says. That's how sincere I am. That is an error. We made a mistake. People who were preparing that document made that mistake. That is how sincere I can be. I have nothing to hide. This constitution is not for me. This constitution is not for President Edgar Chagualungu and this constitution is not for PF. It is for the people of Zambia. And now that's uh, Justice Minister Given Lubinda talking about the new Bill 10. Say Zambia isn't a theocracy. Church can't lead constitution making process. That's what is happening in Zambia. And uh, make sure you stick around to this channel so that you can be updated and follow up every news that is coming up right here in Zambia. For those that have not subscribed, hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Vashim Pundu has posted a new video. Enjoy the rest of the day and uh, shalom, shalom.